Aquarius, you may have had a vision in mind of where you thought you would end up. But I'm here today to tell you, you're about to far exceed your own expectations. Now, this is what I kept getting earlier. You may always feel like I'm just beginning. This is just the beginning. And I know why. Because with all of the new technology, all of the different things that we're discovering about the past that may have been fake or it was an illusion, all the new different ways that we are moving forward into the future, we're just now calculating how far they can go for the first time. We're just now being able to measure, okay, well, this looks like it's going to last for a long time. So if I do something with it, I'll be able to be ahead of the curve. So there's always something new that you're walking into for the very first time. And that's why you feel like I'm just getting started. And so you may have already found this thing or you're about to walk right into it. And you're literally going to feel like this is something that I know I want to do for the rest of my life or that I can see myself doing for a very long time. It could even be something that you do discover or make for the very first time that becomes generational where all the generations after you do this thing as well. Okay. So just know you're about to go further than you thought and you're walking into a lot of new things that are setting you up for a beautiful beautiful future all right so let's see what we got to kick things off um, the nine of coins right away and don't they look like they match and these are like literally the same type energy female okay the one on the right the nine of coins she owns her own jewelry store she's bossing it up she's independent you know um in this case she's single you know and she is a single mom but she was still able to take herself from one state of being one level of financial income to a luxurious and abundant one and she did it through the use of her own mind gift skills and talents this is the epitome of far exceeded the expectations so a lot of you guys right now are in position i need somebody to know you're doing the right thing if you've been working towards something that you're really passionate about, you're in the right area. And there's going to be new developments really soon that are going to take this thing even further. Okay, pay attention. Let's see what we got going on behind the scenes that Aquarius may or may not be aware of. Ooh, the two of swords. Okay, so this is stuck, stagnant energy. Do you know you're about to figure out what's been keeping you stuck? You're about to find like a cure for something within your own mind or your own, you know, procrastination. They say as a trauma response, right? Uh, the freeze response when we're talking about like psychology, um, the freeze response where you can't, you got all these ideas in your head. You got all these things you want to do, but you can't move forward. You just can't do it. Okay. There's something there. Also, when it comes to just in general, you try to do things and they don't move forward and you keep trying and it doesn't work. You're about to find out why a very crucial piece of the machine is about to be fixed and then things are going to be operating in overtime to make up for lost time. It's like some of you guys are about to make up for lost time because you're going to figure out what the issue is, what the problem is. And you're going to solve it. You're going to fix it. And your gears are going to get to grinding and things are going to start rolling. Let's see what it is that's good for you that you need to keep up, that you have to keep uh, going forward with. The three of cups. Okay, so this is, first of all, invitations. I told y'all in the collective reading, you need to get your, get yourself together, your wardrobe, your hair, your look, whatever it is, because you're going to get invited to places. Now, again, these could be baby showers. These could be weddings. This could be um, networking events for business, birthday parties. You're going to be out and about. And so you're going to exude this energy. And it's going to just be attracting these things to you. I keep feeling the need to tell people, get into your luxury and abundant energy, okay? It doesn't matter what the world is looking like and what people are afraid of. Come up out of that, okay? That's not our fight right now. If you're in this energy, if you're in this vibe, your fight right now is not what the world is concerned about and what they're scared of and what's happening everywhere. Okay. We have compassion for people and we know that people are struggling and going through it. But if we jump on that frequency, then we're going to manifest those things. Your frequency right now is abundance, exceeding your expectation and 
collaboration, reconciliation. Some of you guys are going to meet back with old friends. You're going to see people you haven't seen in a long time. A lot of you guys have been in hermit mode, isolation mode. Maybe some of you guys have been working a lot or things are just going to clear up to now where you're going to have a lot of interaction with people and it's going to be great interactions. Okay. Now, what do you need to look out for? What do you need to watch out for? What do you need to work on? The 10 of cups. Okay. So is this a, you don't want to be single type thing? Is this the question of, will you ever get married? Cause remember we started with the nine of coins. The nine of coins is independent, bossing it up, doing your own thing. Some of you guys desire marriage. And so it's like, okay, um, I'm getting Cisco incomplete. Like, even though it seems I have everything, I forgot all the words, but uh, say without you, girl, my life is incomplete. Okay. So this could be a partnership that has, you know, ended. You could be feeling like, will I ever get married again after like maybe a divorce? Some of you guys may be going through a divorce right now. Some of y'all need to know that as soon as you let one thing go, you might excel in another area. So maybe there's a question of breaking up if for those of you who are already in a relationship. And some of our relationships and partnerships and romance, but remember we had that three of cups, which is some type of reconciliation. So, oh, and you know what? Remember the two of swords, stuck in stagnant energy line. Let me tell y'all what this card means in this deck. The young lady in the middle, she's with the guy that's in front of her. But she's also been talking to his friend. Now, she likes both of them equally. And she doesn't know what she's going to do because she can't move forward with one and she doesn't want to leave one behind. Now, what does this represent in real life? This could be, again, what I was saying. You may have had someone, you may be going through a divorce, you may have went through a divorce a few years ago. This three of cups is maybe talking about somebody from the past. And that's why that young man in the two of swords is standing behind her. Because it represents you have somebody in your future, but then again, there's somebody in your past. In the meantime, you're single, nine of coins, okay? And so this is where that stuck and stagnant energy is coming from. So maybe if some of you guys, did we just solve the problem right here? Did we just solve the problem? Because remember I said two of swords, you're stuck between something. You have to figure out what am I going to do moving forward? And this can be anything you want it to be. Uh, it could be a job moving forward. I got a job that I want to move forward to, but I got this job from the past and I don't know what to do, you know, stuck between it. But let's just say for the sake of this reading that it is some type of lover. That's the answer. Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Why you can't move forward? It's like, you don't know if you want to move forward in a new situation or if you have something from the past with this reconciliation three of cups is talking about, you have a situation from the past that could potentially work. Let me lay this out again to make sure we get it right. So right now, some of you guys are currently single or, you know, let's just say you're currently single behind the scenes. What's going on? that got you stuck with, I don't know if I should date. I don't know, whatever. There's someone from your past kind of maybe still tugging at the energetic strings while, you know, something in the future could be possible. Wow. Interesting. Let's see what the outcome is though for the next 30 days. Mm, the King of Cups. Oh, wow. You know, for me, honestly, I feel like this is someone new. Now, for some of y'all, you could say, hey, no, that's the person from the past. And it's so interesting to me because when I started this reading, I'm thinking this is just, okay, business, your dreams coming true. You know, you really been that person. But this literally turned into kind of like a love reading. And for some of you guys, you're about to exceed your expectations in terms of the type of person that you end up being with or, you know, you end up marrying or coming into contact with, or in the next 30 days, this is the person that you reconcile with. That is so interesting. But the King of Cups is emotionally mature. They are, I want to say affectionate. They're more so affectionate and lovey-dovey, you know, the, the romantic type. And some of y'all, you might get swept off your feet. Now, this is the other thing that I'm getting to. You see how the Ten of Cups is here? Some of y'all love being single and love being independent. But what you need to know, or maybe what you need to work on is the fact that maybe there is a really good match for you. 
because the ten of cups in any other position is fantastic but it's like maybe some of y'all are resistant to love maybe y'all been divorced don't want to get married again maybe some of y'all had a really bad breakup and you just like you know what i'm gonna just enjoy being single maybe some of y'all was in toxic relationships maybe some of y'all was with narcissists okay players liars cheaters manipulators all that kind of stuff maybe you have that going on in the background and that too could be what the two of swords is. I want to move forward and believe that love is real and that there's someone who would be faithful. But in the back of you, there's all of this toxicity. And so you're just kind of being still. I'm not dating. I'm not going for marriage. I'm not doing none of that. I'm just boss it up. But what, what the universe may be saying to you is, well, you know how when you don't want something anymore, that's exactly when I send it to you. The universe is saying, well, it just might be that time. And so you're going to have to decide moving forward. What do you want in terms of romance and relationship? Because that's what's next. I mean, you boss it up. You do that. You can make $25 million. Okay. But what's new? Remember, I was just saying that you walk into something new. You feel like you're just getting started. And as you move forward in life and get new things, more new things come. So this may be something completely new, something you ain't never had before never ever had this type before you passed all your tests from the past and now something new must come forward okay no more repeats around here now let's see what's the bottom of the deck for Aquarius <gasps> the star card oh my god okay so this is your moment this is your time remember I told you you're about to go far beyond what you thought you would do which uh, far beyond what how you thought you could make it so not only is this reading just about, okay, what this romantic thing may be happening, popping off for you or coming back around for you again, but you are in the spotlight. You are a star. You are lighting it up. Something is doing a lot better than you thought it would. Something is selling a lot faster than you thought it would. Uh, your product is coming along. Your music is coming along. The stage play is coming along. The book is in production. The prototype is being made. I mean, whatever it is that you got going on, not only is it going on, but it's going to go on for a very, very, very long time. Okay. Remember, because I told you, you just getting started and this thing has longevity. Now, again, referring back to romance, this could be a relationship. It's new. It starts off, but it has longevity. It has, you know, it got some, it got some time on it, you know, maybe even rest of the life type energy. Remember I said at the beginning, you might find something to say, you know what? I got to have this for the rest of my life. That could actually be a person, but something is going on in your world that is about to exceed your expectations. So I want whoever this message is for, for you to continue to stay patient. And even though the two of swords talking about, talks about being stuck, it's not necessarily in a bad way. It's like if you can't make a sure decision and you don't want to make a mistake, it may be OK to take a moment to take a pause, take a breath and wait for your answer. Wait for your solution instead of just feeling like I got to hurry up and do something right now. There are pros and there are cons to everything. But where you're headed, it seems as though you're going to be happy with the decision that you made because it leads you to even greater results than you knew you could get. Okay, so that is what I give you Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, get in the comment section. Let me know how this resonates with you. Follow my other social medias and I'll see y'all in the next video.